Okay, so, um, I know I said I would do, like, some YouTube videos and stuff. I really don't know sometimes, like, what to talk about. I don't know, I kind of feel like I just repeat myself, so I don't want to, like, waste your guys' time. Or, I don't know, I think just overthink a lot. And, uh, think I give in too much on, like, the negative comments and things like that. I kind of just would rather not, you know? But... I kind of I have to get over that causing issues like that and I don't want to I don't I don't want to deal with that but um so um some of the things that I see people ask a lot well I mean I'm glad you guys are you know letting me know the kind of things um you want to um learn more about or you might have questions or you'd want you know us to you know explain more so i saw one um and i just chose this one just because recently the last video i posted uh me being all like super emotional <laughs> um like uh jj's injuries so like initially the injuries that um he had were i mean the two biggest ones that not necessarily that they were the most um severe injuries but it was more like the ones that just stood out more to me I don't know why I think just that's just what my my brain was just so focused on I, I was like so many things going on too in that moment you're not really it's like you're thinking straight but you're not able to um react on those thoughts you know what I'm saying like your body and your mind are not cooperating they're just going against each other and it's a really crazy feeling I, I don't ever wish that on anyone but those of you that have gone through things like that know what i'm talking about so anyways um yeah i remember first um you know like i've said before when i saw jj first was um the back of his like head was the skull was exposed i remember just seeing like um veins on his skull and like blood and very little it was very weird like it was super white and very like that's why i don't know if it was veins or blood but it was like little streaks of blood so um i at that point my kid's gone i truly felt that like in my heart and um also seeing them like pulling on his face and all the body parts i did not think my kid was alive so um i was very glad to find out you know that he was still making noises and breathing then that's when i seen his face now that's um that that part's really hard um it was just a hole and eyeballs that was it and then like that was skin right here on the other side but there was so much blood I knew there was very little. Like, it, it was only from, like, right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, compared to all this, and then his neck, and then his head. Then it looked like it was going to um have a good turnout, pretty much. I didn't think I was going to have my baby. Um, but I remember seeing um there was still skin, and I didn't see anything under the skin. I remember seeing um, the bottom part right here of his jaw. He had that. So it was um, <clears throat> all the or four or orbital walls, like what hold your eye sockets. Um, and like these bones right here, they were broken, um, but still kind of intact. It was like more like cracks and things like that. Then um, his cheek, cheekbone was crushed. Uh, they took, they was just, they just ripped this off, but, like, ate the nose underneath. Um, he only had, like, this much left of his, um, septum. Very, very little. Um, so they didn't really have not much to work with. That I now know he doesn't even have anything underneath, really. And I remember I mentioned that they rebuilt him a nose. You know what I mean? But I, I think because it looked so good thought they did but what they did do they had a plate and then they had um the trumpets 
you see in videos he has like these um plastic things right there and that's to kind of just like um keep his when it heals it stays open so i think with their that they did they just kept his nose to be able to function but it's very squishy but it's actually a common thing um with people that happens sometimes like in accidents and then later on it just gets fixed so jj's gonna have to get that fixed a lot um later on in his future so that was another injury and also his arm was gonna get amputated they were leaning more towards amputating it until um a nurse or a, um, a dog doctor had said well let's see if he moves it let's not take anything else from this kid you know like let's see if he moves it because um the one of the last things the dog was doing was yanking on his arm and jose you know used every single part of his body to cover every single part of our son's body and protect it all he had left was his face so as he's head butting this dog and you know blocking off all the other dogs he sees jj's arm so he you know like you guys um he said before he shoves his arm up the dog's mouth grabs jj's arm notices a bunch of his meat like muscle fat everything was just hanging out so they were on i don't even know if it was muscle but for sure like you know like the fat i guess you know was um hanging out a significant amount and you see a scar like very tiny very weird um, but it was bigger and, um, so they were able to, you know, put it back in, sew it up, waited for him to have some kind of movement and he did not have to get it amputated. Um, so that was another injury, his groin area. Nothing of like the boy parts were touched, but, um, like that, um, like the lower part right there um does have puncture wounds um that like like dog like the teeth marks they grabbed into that and i remember seeing them holding him right there like like shaking him like that and um i'm very glad because you have arteries right there big ones like very important things right there um like internally and i was so scared right there and then like the shaking was scared of internal bleeding so um those are like all like the exterior things that, oh and then um he has a huge scar like a dog like a scratch or from right there his back puncture wounds in his back like when i say puncture wounds i mean like like the, the the teeth um and he um also suffered um a minor concussion and he also had minor um fraction um skull fractions in his, fractions that's what it's called fractions fractures fractions he had um skull fractures in his um on his um the top right here um on the he he has two ball spots is right here on the top um it wasn't anything too crazy but he did go out he was unconscious and it on the medical reports it says he was out for um a little Oh, a while. Not crazy amount, but he was out. He was going in and out. He lost a significant amount of blood. He had to get um two blood transfusions. Um wow, it's just a lot, honestly. I'm naming it and I've already been on here for eight minutes. Crazy. So yeah, he um had a lot of um he still has a lot of you know, scars all over his body now the good thing is you know they're big right now but we all know you know you get a scar when you're little it's very little when you get older which is good but the internal scars um not only that he has now i feel like there'll be more things and issues created when he gets older like um how is he gonna feel about his confidence like I'm praying and I'm hoping that he has a positive outlook on this or he approaches this um, like it's just normal because this is all he's going to know. 
he's, he's a little baby right now still. So he's not going to really remember how he looked before. This is, this is him. That's all he's going to know. So I hope he kind of just doesn't really care too much what people think or people say. It's not a big deal to him. It's just a cool story to tell. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, guys, I survived this kind of thing. Um, but definitely, um, if he does have, you know, identity issues, um, like, with his self-image, um, just kind of, I've always been, um, glasses kind of like a half fool kind of person until this. Um, most of the time I am still other things, but with this, I've honestly let my emotions get the best of me. And uh, when I get sad, I'd rather just lay in bed and cry than just be positive, you know? When I think of certain things, I get angry. I get very angry. I um, That hasn't gone away at all since the day it happened. I just hide it better, especially on the internet. Um, but yeah, so it's just... Um, it's been a lot lately for me, um, but I think it's more because I'm seeing um, his injuries and like the scars, how long it's taking for um, his head to heal. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I, I, I felt like when I seen the topics y'all wanted me to, um, address this one kind of just spoke out to me you know so um yeah sorry i dragged this on but um those are all the oh I didn't. he also had on his thigh there was some scratches you know what there's like a lot of scratches actually um and then you see a scar on his um rib cage that's where they got the rib bone to um rebuild a jaw so um he lost a lot of teeth, too. But, yeah, those are, you know, the initial injuries he had. They literally fixed almost everything. It's crazy. Even how the orbital walls were broken, like I said, that were more like just, um, you know, a bunch of cracks everywhere. Um, you would think something would have been damaged in his eyes. No. The m very tiny little fibers, like muscles nothing broke it was it's just like literally he is a miracle everything it's just been a miracle um so that's you know what i gotta keep telling myself and um just i really gotta work on being positive when it comes to this stuff man it's hard but um i i stay away sometimes from um social media um like being on my own I'll kind of stay with like Jose and stuff but uh, it's more just because I I don't I don't know I don't know but um it's just my emotions and stuff so I'm, I'm getting better though <laughs> I am I'll be a lot more and I'll entertain you guys <laughs> with JJ more and the kids and make it positive and um yeah just thanks for watching this video i will make more i know i ramble on i'll get better at that um so yeah i just want to let you you guys know that i wasn't just flaking on you with the video i well i was gonna do it um yeah so those are the initial injuries if there's any other topics i will go back and look at the list and i'll make videos on those but if there's anything else anybody wants to know that you don't already know or you haven't seen on a video or you don't even have to really be about the attack if you it could be just things you want to know about jj or the kids or how do i do this on a daily what do how does jose deal with this how do you know what i mean whatever it is you guys want to know um reasonably <laughs> we'll let you guys know uh legally we can't say certain things because it's still an open ongoing thing um we'll get there eventually but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys again bye